All right, so this I believe is a juniper hair streak. Uh, so they call them green hair streaks. But uh, yeah, the, these guys actually normally are restricted to where their uh, their cedar trees. That's where their uh, their uh, young their caterpillars feed on. But of course, the uh, adults need to go nectar, and this one, of course, is sharing its feed here on this uh, milkweed plant, which is also covered in what I think are petrophyllum moths. But anyways, just absolutely everywhere. It's a neat little moth, um, a neat little butterfly. So, so these are not common, um, but again, the only way to really find them is where there's juniper trees around, and then nearby, of course, they will go and nectar when they can. Um, this particular thing, or they, the males will defend a little patch of junipers quite voraciously. Um, in fact, uh, a neat trick that some people do is they toss a little red ball or whatever up in the air next to a, a juniper tree, next to a cedar, I should say. Eastern red cedars are, is what you would call them. And um, what ends up happening is the male comes out and investigates what's flying by. So kind of a neat way to find them and, you know, have to sc scour everything. Anyways, a neat little butterfly, one of our hair streaks. Hair streaks are called this because they have these little hair pencils, these little things in the back. And they'll wiggle them and they're, when they do wiggle them with the little fake eyes in the back it means that a lot of times the uh, uh, a hungry animal like a bird will hit the wrong end and of course they can fly with with those things missing um, but you know rather lose your little hair streaks your little tails than uh, lose your life and that's common for almost all of our hair streaks so anyways very very cool don't get a chance to see these guys that often um, because they only fly for a couple of weeks but happen to be here at the right time and uh, a nice little patch of uh, milkweed. You always check every patch of milkweed is in bloom because as you can see, it is a magnet for pollinators, as you can see here. So again, we will say goodbye to our Eastern Juniper uh, hair streak, sometimes called a cedar hair streak.